Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain with Beckley's Camping Center. Coming to you up from, this is Little Guy, Liberty Outdoors in Somerset, PA. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about and showing you how the Little Guy Mini Max is built. Now, for any more information on this camper or any others, be sure, sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you answer Paul the Air Force guy, but let's get onto this, how they build this. Okay, so first thing when they come into the plant, they're gonna bring in eight different chassis, eight new chassis, and they're gonna build, they're just gonna go down the line with this. So the first thing you're gonna do while it's sitting here, and these things are upside down, first thing you're gonna do, they're gonna put the steps on it. Then they're gonna put the four stabilizers on it. At that point, they're gonna be bringing it up to the next um, station here, and this is where they're gonna put the axles on it and put that spare tire, you can see, so we're upside down. And they're also going to be putting up in the front, as you can see, they're going to have the tube for you to be able to put your sewer hose. So this is the first station, as you can see. Now from there, let me just show you. So they're going to have the tires, tires they bring in, they're going to put it on one side. And then of course on this side, you're going to have your axles, you see the brakes, you, See, you have more tires over here. Now the flooring for these are back in this area. Now you see that the flooring comes in pre-cut. Now these, the way this flooring is done, on the bottom of the floor, it is waterproofed. So you're not having any moisture coming up from underneath the camper. You see all the holes are cut out uh, for plumbing and so electrical that are coming up to the floor as well as where the wheels are. So from this particular location, you can see they'll take a stack at a time, they'll bring it over here, and what they're doing is, of course, they put it up on some block, and you can see they're putting the flooring, it's all one piece and they glue it down, unlike some other manufacturers that are putting it down and stapling the edge, this is put, it's just one piece all the way down through. So from this particular place, you can see how they're going to bring over, they have this crane here, and they're able to connect to the floor. See, they're connecting to the floor, and they're going to lift it up on to the chassis. At that point, they're going to start putting LP lines, plumbing, electrical, and so forth. And you can see if they have to, if they have to walk on uh, the, the flooring, they're putting down protection so they're not tearing the floor up at all. So you see that from here they got all the flooring put in. You've got your wheel, wheel wells put on there. They've got the tongue jack put on. The next place they're going to be coming up, now we're going to start doing some cabinet work. Cabinet starts getting installed here. So this thing is coming together as you can see. You've got your water heater putting all the cabinetry in. You see this thing set up so you can have twin beds or one big bed. I'll be going over that later. It's gonna be a little closet right there. You see they're using all solid wood. Folks are taking their, taking their lunch break here. Well-deserved lunch break, my, I may add. So this is part of it going together. Now let me show you how what they're putting together back here. This is where everything is built. So you can see the sink, cabinet, your kitchen cabinet is built here. It's all pre-built everything back here. And it, what happens is everything comes in in stock pieces. These are solid wood pieces. They're coming in and they are made just like, it, this is custom made uh, cabinetry. So everything is made specifically for the Mini Max or the Little Guy Max. In this case, it is the Mini Max. Everything's coming in. This is their work, work area to put everything together. All the lumber and everything comes in. They're putting everything here. You see the holding tanks back through here. Shower doors. Bathrooms come in pre-assembled here, you can see. So here's your, your toilet shower. 
I know, I did the same thing the other day. And of course, it just keeps coming down the line to just keep adding, adding things to it. See, so the kitchen is added to this particular one. Now, the next step they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting in the side walls. The side walls come in already pre-made. It is a laminated process, and it is done at another factory. So now it's starting to take shape. As we move forward here, you're going to be able to see how it all comes together. Each process, they just take, they just do a little bit more. I mean, they've got a, quite the assembly line going on here. Again, just adding more wires, adding more items as it comes down the line. As you see, it's coming down here. Of course, you have some lights in the storage, outside lights, outside speakers, outside TV connection. Everything is being done here. Moving up to the next part, you can see now they're starting to put the, the cabinet coming towards the roof on this. And again, they're just adding additional items. Let's take a look inside, see where the bathroom is, the kitchen. And by the way, I'll be doing a detailed video. If you didn't watch it uh, the other day, you can always check my, my channel. I have a detailed video showing you the finished product. So now it's ready for the roof to be installed. Now before we talk about the roof being installed, let's talk about how they build the roof. So what you have here, you have a section over here, and what they're doing is they go ahead and weld the pieces together. You have the areas for the, uh, for the windows, for your vents and so forth in the roof. And then they're gluing and stapling the material to the aluminum structure. So you see that is the roof, that is a finished roof line. Now some of the panels you'll notice when we get up here will only have, as you can see when it's on the unit, some of the insulation is missing. As they move forward, before they actually put the fiberglass roof on top, they will add the additional of insulation into those areas that it's missing. You see, so this roof is screwed onto here. It's all one piece. Coming down the sideline here, as you can see. And that's going to be a one-piece fiberglass roof that's going to go over the entire thing. So you can see all the structure that is in this coach. It's a full walk-on roof. Let's go to the next section. Okay, so now you can see, now it has the one-piece fiberglass roof on here, and then they're also using uh, the tape, as you can see, all along the edge here, and this is covering up the seam, so you do not have any moisture getting into that area. You see they have all the, starting to get the lights on the outside, you got the AC, it has the rear observation camera wired to frame for it already there. Of course, it is gonna have the roof AC. Nice huge back window as you can see in here. Just giving you an idea of what you're looking at as this thing is being built. So as you can see this comes in two different ways. You can get it with the off-road package and of course see the, the uh, ground clearance on this versus one that is the normal height, which is right there. So we're just about finished making this. You can see now they have the windows on it, they have the doors, your outside stereo speakers. They're just touching up the interior, finishing things. And they even have drawers up underneath there, as you can see. 
nice big refrigerator lots of lots of um, storage in these see now they're gonna be putting the decals on them they're getting the um, edges put on now you got many different colors you can get with this you know you get the silver for the outside you get the white uh, then of course you're gonna have the striping you can get them in red you can get them in blue so there's different colors that you can get now the other thing they have here is the last thing they have is of course this lift right here on the end and that is so they can lift the trailer up and they're able to put any uh, finish off the plumbing and the LP systems and so forth. Once they're done that, then of course they're going to be pulled out here to be just finalized and of course detailed and every all the systems checked. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that is how the little guy Mini Max is built. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're watching here. If you have any questions on this particular unit or any other RV, by all means, if you call, if you stop by, or if you email Beckley's Camping Center, be sure to ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, to make sure that I am the one that's helping you. Thanks for watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon.